Hey, I'm Dan Delaney and I'm traveling the world tasting the best street food around. Today we're headed over to the Community College of Philadelphia to have some of the best Jamaican food the city has to offer, only on Vendor TV. Philadelphia's ethnic food is diverse, but when you want a taste of the tropics, there's only one pick, Jamaican D's. All right, I'm here with Dave Dawes. He's the owner of Jamaican D's. He's the D in Jamaican D's. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Yes, sir. So uh, why don't you talk just a little bit about how you got into this industry? Well, I've um, been cooking all my life. Eventually, I started to say, you know, I wanted to cook, get, in, get into the kitchen. And then um, one of my kitchen manager, one of the manager at the restaurant, finally offered me a job as a prep cook. And then uh, I worked my way up, all the way up, um, becoming one of the best cooks, learning all the station, then assistant kitchen manager. And then I just took off from there. So, would you talk to us a little bit about the recipes, where they came from? And well, um, there's general recipes to almost all the foods, but um, we invented our own little twist. And um, once it worked for the customers, we just stick with it. All right, so this sounds all really, really tasty, but it's, uh, it's time to find out for ourselves. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a little taste test, see how this is. This is Alan from Queens. Tuna fish with chopped apples and mustard on an English muffin. I ate it all through college. I know it sounds disgusting, but try it. It's really excellent. A lot of people always try to come in trying to want to see what you're putting in there and what kind of seasoning you use. Oh, you use this in there. Oh, you... So after a while, we started taking off the labels off the bottles. So <laughs> they don't know what's in it. Dave just prepared a platter for me, and he gave me a lot of food. It's really heavy. I, I need to start working out more. Um, got some macaroni and cheese, rice and beans, his uh, really great oxtail, some fried plantains, and some, uh, some sweet potatoes. So let's check this out. So this is his oxtail. It's really, really tender. Uh, sometimes oxtail is a little chewy. This isn't the case. It's really, really delicious. And, and actually one of my favorite things is his macaroni and cheese. Delilah's in the Reading Terminal Market has nothing on this. Fried plantains. Their uh, plantain is sort of like a, a jumbo banana, if you will. And he slices them and he fries them. And when, when you fry them, all the natural sugars in the banana come out and they caramelize around the edge. And that's why you get this nice golden brown. Mm. Really, really tasty. Dave made me another platter, like as if the first one wasn't enough food. He made some of his jerk chicken, which is hopefully really great. Let's try it. It's obviously cooked for, for like a long time, but really slowly, because it's it, it's literally falling off the bone. So these are his colored greens, and uh, what's really neat about them is that they're vegan. There is no meat or dairy products in them whatsoever, which is a little odd, because often collard greens have pork in them, but they're so well seasoned. There's garlic and salt and some onion, and the onion adds some sweetness. They're really, really well seasoned. So if you're a, a vegan, this is a card for you. You can go there and you can have vegan or vegetarian fare, and you can go there with your friends and they can get beef and whatnot. So that's really cool. My name's Marcella. Marcella, what yes. did you order today? Oxtails, yeah. steamed cabbage, and rice and beans. Oh, that sounds good. It's delicious. Are you wait, excited? Oh, I can't, cannot wait to get back to my office so I can start indulging. Well, what'd you get today? I got an order of fried plantains. Yeah, and you want to give us a taste test? They're very good. They're not too heavy. They're not, they're like, they're just chewy enough. And then the sweetness sort of kicks in at the end, which is really good because it doesn't overwhelm the actual like texture of the plantain. Yeah. I got a uh, medium oxtail with their plantains, which are excellent. Yeah? An excellent choice. How long have you been coming here? 
Uh, maybe a, just under a year. I, t I found out about them through my mom. Yeah. When she gets the oxtails, when she gets the bigger kind. And uh, since I've been coming here, man, I, I can't stay away. You're hooked. I can't stay away. So that's Jamaican D. They are most certainly bringing the uh, Caribbean heat to the Philly streets. If you'd like to learn more about this truck, any of the trucks we cover, or if you want to submit your favorite truck, let us know. Visit us online at vendor.tv. I'm Dan Delaney, encouraging you to eat the street. See you next time. Yo, Jamaican Jesus, where I is.